If casting on and binding off knitting projects sometimes throws you for a loop, you've come to the right place. Hi, I'm Stephanie Jappel, a designer and instructor on Craftsy.com. I'm going to show you how to work a few of the most common cast-ons and bind-offs that you'll need in your toolkit. The long tail cast-on is the most common one that you'll see. To start, wind the yarn around a needle the same amount of times as the number of stitches you need to cast on. Make a slip knot and put it on the needle. Then, orient your hands like this and use the right hand needle to scoop up the stitches and place them on the needle. The Knitting On Cast On is a great one for casting stitches on in the middle of a row. Simply start with a slip knot or a stitch and knit into it. And place that stitch on the needle. Repeat until you've got the right number. Now I'll show you a stretchy cast on. You start with a slip knot, make a backwards loop, twist it twice, and pull the top yarn through. Let me show you that one more time. You start with a slip knot, make a backwards loop, twist it twice, and pull the top yarn through. Next, let me show you some bind offs. The traditional bind off is one of my favorites. Let me show you. Knit two stitches. Pass the first knit stitch over the second one. Repeat all the way across the row. Now let me show you how to bind off in stitch pattern. It's similar to the traditional bind off, except that if you come to a purl, you purl and then slip the last stitch over. And if you come to a knit, you knit and then slip the last stitch over, and it's just that easy. Just weave in your ends and you're done. Thanks for watching, and don't forget, you can click the I in the top right corner of this video to learn more knitting techniques or to find the supplies I've been using.